Good morning. This is your September 13th, Tuesday, morning operational brief for the Fairview incident. My name is Justin McGough, and I'm your day operations section chief. Another real productive day on our incident yesterday. Uh, the fire behavior was moderated by the cloud cover and by the increase in relative humidity, enabled uh, crews to get in there and really get some depth, getting into the burn area to go after some of the heavier fuels that still continue to smolder, but that may uh, threaten our control lines later on in the incident. Uh, up in Branch 1, which is the uh, northeastern portion of our fire, Divisions Alpha, Bravo, and Delta. Again, crews going, hand crews going direct, hose lays being pulled, trash being backhauled. So not only are we extinguishing this fire, we're trying to uh, reduce our footprint on the fire as well. As we move around to the southern portion of our fire, going into Branch 3, Division Foxtrot, Red Mountain Road, Reed Valley area, Contingency Branch continues to, uh, to do work in there with the contingency line, masticating. Uh, hand line and dozer work there. Division Foxtrot continued to widen and maintain the hand line that was put in by hand crews in the previous two operational shifts. Uh, Division Lehman Hotel, which where the fire impacted the Cactus Valley and Sage Proper area. Again, got some depth and some overhaul there and just get ready to have the uh, public reintroduced to that area, repopulate that area to make sure that we give them a safe product and a safe area in which to reside in. Up into Branch One, the northern part of our fire, and Divisions Mike, Tango X-Ray. Uh, we're continuing to, uh, to patrol and work with the civilians up there that have come home that either need help with uh, mud or debris flow in a minor nature from the rainstorms that have popped up over our incident in the last 24 hours, backhaul trash, hose, and maintain a fire department presence. I appreciate the opportunity to come to you on this platform and thank you and have a great day. Good morning, incident meteorologist Matt Maley on the Fairview Fire. So last night, firefighters experienced another night of excellent humidity recoveries across the fire, which is great from a fire weather standpoint. Today's fire weather concerns that we have for the Fairview fire will be mainly focused on some lingering moisture that we have from the old storm, uh, tropical storm K that impacted the area the last few days. So the concern is today with that lingering moisture, we're gonna have some pop up cumulus clouds in the afternoon over the higher terrain like up in Idlewild and uh, north in the lower valleys toward Banning area. Some of those could actually form into thunderstorms, but fortunately, with the southerly flow across the region, those should track away from the fire, which is great news for the firefighters on the ground. Obviously, if that changes, I'll be alerting the firefighters to take shelter if there is a storm impacting them. Outside of the thunderstorm threat around the region, temperatures will be below normal for today, which is also great news. Humidities will stay up uh, as well, hence the muggy conditions that a lot of people in the region are feeling. And then last but not least will be the winds. Winds will be mainly out of the west and northwest for most of the fire this afternoon. And also, fortunately, those will be relatively light to moderate with some occasional gusts up to 15 miles an hour. Good morning, my name is Stephen Vollmer. I'm the Fire Behavior Analyst for CAL FIRE Incident Management Team 6 here on the Fairview Incident in Riverside County. So with all the moisture that we've got and the moisture that we received over the last couple of days from Tropical Storm K, uh, the resources are out there and the only thing they're finding is the deep-seated heat in the stump holes. Crews are working heavily in the Batista Canyon area because that's where the dense fields of brush are and that's where they're finding the majority of all the heat. So they're gonna go out, seek and destroy, dig up a lot of ground, and put all that heat to bed so that we can move on to the next incident. Have a safe day.